Viking River Cruises, exploring the world in comfort. As a Democrat, I'm just wondering whether it was surprising and perhaps upsetting to you that the DNC favored Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. There are certain staff that sent certain emails um, that were totally inappropriate. Totally inappropriate. Because, and it is because, completely inappropriate for the DNC to be targeting a Democratic candidate for any particular purpose. All right, the Clinton campaign calling those DNC emails totally inappropriate. But the DNC email hack shows the Clinton campaign's general counsel emailed this to the DNC. Take a look here. It reads, my suggestion is that the DNC put out a statement saying that the accusations the Sanders campaign uh, have made are not true. Just as the RNC pushes back directly on Trump over rigged system, the DNC should push back directly at Sanders and say that what he is saying is false and harmful to the Democratic Party. All right, let's go to Maverick Pack's uh, Morgan Ortega and Democratic strategist Brad Gertzman. Uh, good to see both you guys. You know, Thank you. Morgan. <laughs> You saw those protesters, those Bernie uh, protesters yes. there in Philly. Uh, they, no. they, they're having a tough time with this. And now this is adding just yet another wrinkle to all of it. Uh, it seems as though, really from the get-go, the DNC had it out for Bernie Sanders and didn't want to welcome him or treat him fairly. Well, Trish, Hillary Clinton has said herself that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the now resigned chair of the, of the DNC, was her longtime friend. Um, I don't think, while Robbie Mook, Clinton's campaign manager, may be surprised at what's going on in the DNC, I don't think there's a single Bernie Sanders delegate out there, or a single American, that's actually surprised that the Clinton campaign and the DNC were in cahoots. I think that's what this whole primary, at least on the Democratic side, and even the Republican side in some ways, that's what it was about, going against the establishment and going against what Trump likes to talk about, the rigged system. So it's kind of, it's laughable to me, actually, that he would say that it's surprising, because it's not surprising to anybody, <laughs> and certainly not the Clinton campaign. Brad, uh, are you surprised? I'm not surprised, but I don't see why we have to get overly dramatic about the situation. You know, you had Bernie Sanders running for president in the primary for quite a while, and there came a point in time where he was doing no good for the Democratic Party. Keep in mind that DNC is trying to put a Democrat in the White House. So at some point, you got to just fold yeah, your tent but, you and know, it's all, over. All those voters, they want a fair process, and they felt that it wasn't fair from the beginning. In fact, Brad, this was their worst fear. And Morgan, what do you know? It turns out to be true. I mean, how on earth, Morgan, are, are they going to be able to recruit some of these voters that are, you know, former Bernie supporters into the Hillary Clinton camp, given all that's come out? You know, there's an open letter today, I believe it's in Politico, from a Bernie Sanders delegate to Hillary Clinton saying what she needs to do for the next, uh, you know, 99 days, whatever it is, until the election. Um, I, I was there, and having been at both conventions with Fox, both in Cleveland and Philly, I was really shocked at the amount of animosity I saw at the DNC from the Bernie Sanders delegates. Trish, you and I were on television at night. I almost missed my hit with you one night trying to get through the protesters uh, because it was that intense. So I think as, you know, there are definitely divisions uh, within the Democratic Party, but Robbie Mook was right. What was happening at the DNC was inappropriate. Now, you have two campaigns normally that will email each other and say what they're going to do to hit each other's opponents. That's right. totally normal it, to happen it, between campaigns. It, it's tricky right now because the they, they got to get them rallied uh, around their base. they got to get them rallied towards yeah. Clinton. We'll see if they can do it. I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern and back here at 4. Meanwhile, the five is... Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Bowling, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Juan Williams, Dana Perino, and Brian Kilmeade. It's 5 o'clock in the